All right, gonna give you a quick update on how the build's going as I gotta get these uh, videos off my phone as it's filling up my memory. But anyways, let's take a look at what's going on here. So originally I had this uh, quarter inch tubing which I just pushed into this three inch, inch tubing. But you can see the tubing started to split once the uh, quarter inch black tube started to expand in the sun. And originally I was just using what I had on hand, so making do. So as you can see, I had the quarter inch black tubing and I just pushed it into this uh, 3 8 inch tubing, which I don't know, I had left over in my garage from something. But, and it worked, the seal was tight, but once the sun got on it, it expanded the tube and cracked it. Anyways, I was looking on Amazon anyway before they cracked and I uh, ordered this grommet set, which comes with like 190 pieces. And, and here, I grab a 7 16th grommet and I already inserted it into this test piece I had. And then I put the inserted the 3 8 inch uh, PEX tubing and it seemed like a nice, good, tight fit. But I need to test these out before I can vouch for them. But they look good so far. And the price was right. It was like under 10 bucks, you got 190 pieces. And uh, anyways, we can pull them up on Amazon and check it out right now and see how much they are. And as you can see, you get 190 pieces and you can see you get a good quantity of uh, each size. 716s, 25 pieces, 38s, 40 pieces. Anyways, and the price you can see is 998, which whatever, that's pretty cheap. I'm willing to spend 10 bucks and see if, see if they work. And I also got them next day delivery, so that was a plus. Then I also bought these uh, quarter inch top hat rubber grommets. And these look to be the way to go as I really liked them a lot. And here I got lucky because they uh, fit in the holes I already drilled in my gutter, the 3 8 inch holes as you can see. Here's the test piece, but they fit right in. And then from there you just insert the uh, quarter inch tubing and then it makes a nice tight seal. And it's a much easier installation than using the uh, double lip grommets that I showed you earlier. Anyways, let's pull them up on Amazon and see what the cost is of them. And again, as we can see, they're 11 bucks and you get uh, 25 of the top hats. So you get 25 pieces for 11 bucks, which was well, a little more pricey than the other grommets but the, these are better quality. I guess you can say is you get what you pay for. <laughs> and also if you're on the cheap, you can just drill the hole directly into the rail a little smaller than a quarter inch and push in the tubing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, swap these out. All right, once I got the old grommets out, these things push right in. And as you can see, no leaks. And another interesting thing with these grommets is it allow you to uh, adjust this quarter inch tubing and set it at different heights. This in theory would allow you to uh, set some of the gutters at different water levels, but I need to experiment with this. As you can see, these grommets worked out well and they are very easy to install, so I highly recommend them. Also, this uh, Gorilla waterproof tape worked great in fixing a crack that I had in the gutter. I basically just cut a strip of it and applied it to the outside and also applied it on the uh, inside of the gutter and it sealed it up with no leaks. And I also drilled some holes that were the wrong size and I used this also to uh, patch up the holes that worked great. And I did the same thing. I applied a piece of the tape on the outside of the gutter and also a piece on the inside of the gutter as you can see. And as you can see, it comes in white so if you gotta make a repair, it doesn't stand out. So if you screw up something on your downspout with either drilling something wrong or you get a crack on it, this is a great way to repair it. And you can pick this up either at Home Depot or uh, also on Amazon. We can take a look at the cost on Amazon. And as you can see, it's uh, 13 bucks for a 10 foot strip by four inch. And I imagine Home Depot would be uh, similar in cost. I will also leave uh, links in the description both for the waterproof tape and also for the uh, rubber grommets. Next, I'll show you how I installed the uh, float valve. 
As you can see, I measured uh, one inch from the top, and then I measured across one and seven sixteenths, which is the uh, middle point. And as you can see, I already have it marked and it's uh, ready to drill. So I'm gonna go ahead here and uh, drill a 3 8 inch hole. And now we're ready to uh, insert the float valve into the hole. And it's a tight fit, so I'll just screw this into the hole I just drilled, make my own threads. So everything's looking good, and it looks like it's working properly. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and uh, drill out two holes where the uh, float valve's gonna go. And here I'm just using the uh, two inch bit. And once I'm done drilling the holes here, I'm just gonna mark a line to connect the two holes and then that'll be the piece that I'm going to remove. And I just use my angle grinder here to cut out the piece. So I just follow the lines and it cut through it pretty easy. And then you can use the uh, angle grinder just to grind down the sides to make it flat. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Then I got a seven inch piece of downspout, uh, which I cut in half on my table saw. So I ended up making uh, two float covers. Then I went ahead and just finished uh, drilling out the uh, two inch holes. And these ones are all spaced at four inches to center. And uh, once we're finished up here, you can take a close look at the holes and see that we need to clean them up as there's uh, some rough edges here. And as you can see, there's a lot of plastic burrs that are uh, on the edge of the holes. So a quick and effective way to do this is uh, just get a putty knife and go over the top of the uh, gutter, scraping off the uh, burrs. And then you can get the edge of the uh, putty knife and stick it in the hole and turn it in circles and it'll uh, remove a lot of the burrs. Again, I'm not trying to make it perfect, I'm just trying to do a quick cleanup here. And as you can see, it looks a lot better. So now it's time to grab our end caps and uh, we're gonna get ready to uh, insert them on the end of our uh, rails. So from here, we're just gonna grab our advanced silicone and we just wanna fill up that uh, groove on our uh, end cap. So you just wanna uniformly fill it up with the uh, silicone. And once everything looks good, then you wanna grab your popsicle stick to uh, clean off the excess. And you'll do that by uh, circling in a clockwise fashion around the hole outside of the uh, end cap. And just keep visually inspecting the groove to make sure that's all uniformly filled. If you see any low spots, just use some of the excess and wipe it into the groove. And once everything looks good, then you can insert the uh, end cap onto the uh, downspout rail. I will also leave a link in the description on where to buy this float on Amazon. And once you get the end cap on the end of the downspout rail, then you can inspect the groove. Use your finger and just wipe any of the excess silicone into the groove. And just keep circling it till it's all uniformly filled. And once everything looks good, that's it. And then just repeat the same process to the other end cap on the other side of the rail. And once you get it, everything uniformly filled, that's it, you're done. Then we just need to let this sit for 24 hours for the silicone to dry. So I'm going to wrap this uh, video up, but be sure to check out part three because I'm going to have the craft, the crafty cup set up with the self-wicking cups. So be sure to check that out because I figured out a couple new ideas that work. Also on a side note, the reason that a middle rail is turned vertically is so the float valve would have a proper travel. So in these other gutters on the side, there wasn't enough travel space and it would hit the top. So that's the reason I had to turn that uh, middle rail vertically. So that's it. So until next time, we'll see ya. Also, if you're interested in making your own crafty rail system and need some end caps, 
then go visit my Etsy store where I have the end caps available for purchase. I'll post the link in the description below for the Etsy store. And all these end caps are custom made by me. And they're for the Amerimax 2 by 3 inch downspouts that you can get either at Home Depot or Lowe's. Also, I'm now making the uh, custom end caps for the 3 by 4 inch Amerimax downspouts that you could also buy at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. So these are new. I'm also making end caps for the uh, 2 by 2 Amerimax downspouts. And these also can be purchased at Home Depot or Lowe's. Alright, until next time, we'll see ya and have a good one. Keep on growing.